Mm. Hi, guys. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about Exantha, the business. Um, I am open two days a week. Um, you seen my shop. I showed you pictures. Um, I've been doing this for a very long time. I, um, I'm open Thursday and Friday and Saturday by sometimes 10 to 2. Um, but Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, I'm open by appointment only. Um, I don't look for traffic off the street to um, support my business. This is, I, I have a clientele base that I built up over time. And um, I kind of go by that clientele to help support my business and word of mouth and so on and so on. And I also do shows out of town. Um, what else? Mm. I'm going to revamp my business plan. I'm going to look at it again and ask some real questions about my business. Um, and I don't even like being open Thursday and Friday. I just like coming in when I want to. But in order, the, the business does sustain itself. But I should probably come down a little bit more often. I, um... I'm talking off the top of my head, and I think in the future when I do videos, I'm going to write down what I want to say, so I won't be going, um, uh, so I'm sorry in advance. Um, but anyways, um, I'm getting some new labels to put on my jewelry. That's my logo, and you see it in the back of me too. Let me get over. Yeah, that's my logo, and this is my logo, and I just got some more labels made for my um, cards. No, more labels made for my clothes. And I'll show you those when they come in. But I also want to share with you my new cards for my business. This is it. And so I had to really think about what it is I wanted to put on these cards. So on the front, I ended up putting um, um, Exantha Couture... Contourier, and if you look it up, it just means a person that kind of makes one of a kind pieces. Um, I have my address on it, and also what I do here in the corner, and it, um, it says art, home decor. I call myself a master draper, Xantha's closet, um, and that means stuff I buy gently used pieces. I'm an image consultant, and I make one of a kind clothes and accessories. And I, it took me months to figure out what I wanted to put on this card because I really wanted to get straight to the point. I usually used to have a whole bunch of pictures on it. Hold on for a second. So this is my card that I had. I'm going to use this card for the next two years, so I got 5,000 of these. And then this is my one that I used to have. And this is the back, and it says high fashion. I still like this card. This card, ooh, it does have my old address on it. So I've used all these up. On the back of this card, I have this picture, and it's just a picture of a lot of women wearing my accessories. And it has um, the Facebook logo on there, the Square logo, Pinterest, Instagram, my logo, and my email address. And it has small you look closely by appointment and my phone number and um, my slogan for the year is when you're ready to go places come see me so that's my card I have a lot of these and so when I'm out talking to people talking about what I do I give them this card and I'm proud to give them this card because I'm proud of this card and I really like it yeah Another thing I ended up getting, which I don't really want to go too much into this, I end up getting um, my own um, receipts with my invoices with my policies on it in the back of it where they can sign. So I'm back about uh, their copy and my copy has my policy on the back. And when I'm doing um, custom orders, like 
or my layaway or return policy, I have on here what those policies are, and I'm about to get one put up on the wall here in the store. That's very um, important to me that I have that. You need that in your store. I have a lot of people bringing stuff back, wearing it, and, you know, I can't really argue with them because I have no policy. I know what it is, but it's not written down. So here it is. And I, I can go into that. I mean, people will buy something and put a deposit on something of $200 deposit. And they come back two years later and want that money. And they don't do that anywhere else, but they want to do it with me. Um, here, are, here are my cards that I want to hang on my jewelry. These are kind of handmade myself. And um, unfortunately, you know what? I need to take these with me. I need to cut these all out. And then I have some bigger ones that I hang on my clothes. I disregard that side. These here, and that just basically says dry clean only. And then it has some little notches where it says um, small, medium, or large, or extra large. And I just kind of punched that hole. And um, I put since 1980, and I also put, I don't know. I don't know if that was information that needed to be on there, that I'm on Square, Facebook, and Instagram. But I did add that on there, so I'm going to get these cut out and bring these back down to the shop. I can show you some of my older labels, which these are a lot better. These, This paper, this is a smaller one. I have the bigger ones. These are waterproof, and this side says Exantha with my logo with um, Body Drama Jewelry Collection on it. And then I had some other ones too. Also use these sold um, tags that I just buy from the store which are red. And this is for um, when, I, when something's sold or hold. I have one. Do I have one that says hold? I just stick that on there. Sometimes I put the name on it. But sometimes I'm just holding it for like a day or two, and I try to reuse them again, and it goes straight through the hanger. That's just some of the little things I do as far as running my business. I, yeah. Let me see. Here's another thing I would like to share with you. When I meet a client, and I want to know some personal information, this is, I call this my client card. Um, it's Carla's name. Sometimes I get their address, their phone number, zip code, email. And then I used to keep up with how much they spent. And once they get up to a certain amount, they get something for free. On the back, I have their measurements and some information that um, I want to know about them personally. Oh, they're cheapskate. But they will never get to see this card. Or they're a great customer. They come in all the time or whatever. Whatever you need to know about that person. Or this person gave me a hard time. This person brings stuff back too much. Or this person likes wine. I like to find out their favorite music. Also, when customers come in my um, store, I also give them a glass of wine or some cold water. And a really cute glass, wine glass. And snacks when they're shopping. I'm usually paying jazz music. I really cater to my clients because I really do think customer service is everything. So, that's all I want to talk about today. That's a little bit about my business. Bye-bye.